Privacy is important, and JavaScript gives us the ability to create private fields in our classes. Let's look at how. We're gonna create a class that represents a bank account. And a bank account has a balance. So let's accept the balance, and we want to keep track of the balance throughout the life of this object. So we will create a property called balance, and we want to manipulate the balance by making a deposit. So we will have a given amount, but we need some kind of validation. If amount is less than or equal to zero, that's not much of a deposit. So we will throw a new error that says deposit must be positive. And if we make it past this check, then, well, we modify our balance with the amount because the deposit was good. And if we can deposit, well, then we can withdraw. And our first check is going to be the same thing. If the amount is less than or equal to zero, then the withdrawal must be positive. But we also need another check. If the amount is greater than the balance, well, we have a whole nother problem. We have insufficient funds. So we will throw another error that says that. Otherwise, we need to modify our balance. We need to subtract the amount. So we have a balance. We can manipulate that balance by making a deposit or a withdrawal. But the balance property is public, meaning that anyone can make changes to that balance. And we don't want that. We want to protect that as much as possible and only manipulate it through the deposit and withdrawal methods. So we need to make it private. And we do so by declaring it, starting with a pound sign, and then using whatever property name that we want. I'm going to call it pound balance. And then any time that we used this dot balance, we need to use this dot pound balance. And that will make our code use our private balance field. So now our balance is protected. We can only manipulate it through the deposit and the withdrawal methods. But of course, we also want people to be able to at least read or see their balance. So let's write a getter for balance. And all we have to do is return this dot pound balance. So in JavaScript, we can create private fields by declaring them with a pound sign. And that gives us complete and total control over those values.